there was a bit lucky. Right. Well, Ooh, Seattle, got lucky. Seattle got lucky, but Cam Chancellor, that wasn't a lucky play. No, nope. we're going to get into that right now. So the Seahawks are now 2-2, two and two, and as Stephen A. just mentioned, Seattle's not allowed a touchdown in their last 18 regular season quarters with Cam Chancellor on the field. Stephen A., going into the season, you had Seattle as your Super Bowl pick. Now through four games. Has your opinion changed at all seeing this? Well, it hasn't more? changed, but I'm not as resolute in that opinion as I was at the beginning of this season. And the reason why is because of their offense. I picked this team to win the Super Bowl championship for two reasons. That elite defense, the of Legion of Boom, yep. mm -hmm. you know, and all its supplementary parts, the defensive line and so on and so forth. Also, their motivation, because no matter how motivated the New England Patriots are due to deflate gate and the whole fiasco that that entailed, mm -hmm. the bottom line is yep. they stand here today as the reigning defending Super Bowl champions. Yep. And the Seattle Seahawks sit here today as a team who believes it was theirs and their head coach gave it away by not giving the ball a beast mode a half yard away from the goal line. It is that simple. So I believe the combination of how elite their defense is, Skip, and how motivated they are to resurrect themselves and to make and to make amends for what transpired, basically taking back what they, they believe yep. belongs to them. The Seattle Seahawks believe they should be standing here right now as the reigning two-time defending Super Bowl champions. Yep. Okay, and they believe that it was they they gave that away. So they believe it's theirs. That is the reason I picked them. Mm -hmm. The fact that you got this offense with Jimmy Graham, yeah. which I believe is a better. That experiment is not working. Wait, is he a Seahawk now or not? Yes. Listen, is he, the, the, does he dress? This guy had, well, he had four catches for 29 maker. yards last night. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying that it's so anemic. It's so pedestrian. It's so blah, blah. I can't believe it. Now, in defense, Detroit was all over Russell Wilson. I mean, he was running for his life yeah. most of the game. They, they sacked them six times. I can't even count how many times they pressured them. They were all over him. And if it wasn't for his elusivity, yep. his, 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 you know, it, that's what Clay Matthews meant when he told Colin Kaepernick, you are no Russell Wilson. Because you got to remember, Kaepernick is more like RG3, the old RG3, in terms of he could fly north mm -hmm. and south. That is true. He, is, he can't juke you the nope. way that Russell Wilson yep. is capable of juking you. So that's probably what Clay Matthews meant. And be, it meant, and it, it, it definitely highlighted itself because they were all over Russell Wilson last night, okay? And they, I mean, it, he could barely breathe. Mm -hmm. But I'm still looking at them. And, and again, and no Marshawn, Marshawn, Lynch, yep. Marshawn B. Smoke, yep. he didn't play last night, so we understand that. I'm just looking at this offense, and I'm like, my God, what has happened to y'all? They can't win the Super Bowl with their offense doing as little as they did last night. Granted, Beast Mode didn't play, yep. but they cannot do as much as they did last night yep. and win the Super Bowl. They're still my pick, yep. but their offense has got to play better because they, this defense is a Super Bowl caliber defense. No okay. question. And their motivation is Super Bowl caliber motivation. But their offense but has to join. Their offense has to join the party, mm -hmm. and that's not happening yet. I'm with you. I don't want to go in too hard on that offense because there was no Marshawn. Yep. That's right. But in a showcase Monday Night Football game, you scored 13 at home, and you allowed Matt Stafford, who hadn't been able to do squat against your defense, to drive 90, almost 91 yards with what was it 623 remaining that's right that's a long drive and you gave up a big play to golden tate and one to the expatriate tim wright right down the yep. seam and cam said they fooled me with that one i didn't see that one coming on tape okay but you get it down to within striking distance and from the 11 yard line you hit calvin johnson and it looked like for all the world he was about to score and you were about to be in big trouble even though there was time there had been a minute 45 left for russell wilson now is that on the defense? A little bit. I, I saw a little little crack in the foundation there that you gave that up at home in front of that crowd. Right. But back to Russell Wilson. The, the whole offense revolves around a little guy, and he is, I, don't, I don't usually say little guy, but he's a little guy by NFL standards. He's, what is he, about 5'11", 5'10 Quarterback and a half? Quarterback standards for yeah, sure, one of right? the shortest. And, and Stephen A., to your point, his, his quickness and his downfield speed is staggering to me. It looks he he looks quicker than ever. Last night he did because he had that one great escape in the first half. No one can do what he's been doing on escape plays and and then able to throw on the run, running the wrong way. He's running to his left and throws a big completion. But 
it's it's a high wire act and he fumbled twice that hurt them badly they lost the turnover battle three to one and yeah. still won the game at all that yeah. you know that's that's pretty great and yet Russell Wilson, if you force him to stand there in that pocket at his diminutive, diminutive size, he can't see it, and, and he's not consistently accurate from the pocket. He's, to me, to my eye, he is below average as a pure pocket passer. But if he gets outside, he is absolutely lethal, as lethal as I've ever seen of anybody outside. He's what Johnny Manziel hopes he can one day become, because he's doing better than, you know, he is, he's Russell football. That's who he is, because that's, he's making plays. And at one point, Gruden said last night, boy, he, he better not keep doing this because at some point it's going to catch up with him but he keeps pulling it off and you I got to give it to that's him. That's interesting. He does keep pulling it off. You know what? As I watched Russell Wilson last night, you know what I said to myself? A 3-4 defense is the best way to go against him. Let me explain why. It's almost best that you don't have a pass rush. You don't need that to. That you just keep him in the pocket. Just don't let him that out. You just, keep, just don't let him out yeah, of the pocket. I know. That's all. I agree. That's it because the more people you send if he somehow is able to escape, yeah, because you're you 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 you're trying to you're trying to put forth a vicious pass rush, he's gonna eat you up because he has that elusivity factor he working does. in his favor. And again, once he gets out of the pocket, he's lethal. But even if he has time, if you make him stand in the pocket mm -hmm. and there are bodies in front of him to impede his vision, yep. It obviously affects him like it would affect anybody else who's relatively short yep. inside that pocket. To me, that's the best way to neutralize him. And then, to, and then, and this is why Jimmy Graham and Lockett, it doesn't make much sense right now. They're both huge targets. Mm -hmm. So when all else fails, particularly with a quarterback like Russell Wilson, yep. because of his diminu diminutive mm -hmm. style yep. of size. Mm -hmm. You can throw it up sometimes, sometimes and just throw it in the vicinity yep. and they should be able to go and get it for you. The fact that none of that is happening nope. is incredibly alarming to me. This offense has become a huge question mark. I can't believe it's going to stay this way because you got enough weapons to lock it and grab with beast mode. The offensive line, play, even though they gave up a lot yesterday, they can play better and I believe they will play better. And Russell Wilson obviously can be evasive. But they're going to have to do that to capture a Super Bowl championship. Yep. They're going to have to do that to beat Green Bay. Yep, they're going to have you. to do that to beat Arizona. Yep. Right now, they're asking a whole lot of little Russell Wilson to make a couple plays a game that's going to win the game 13 to 10. Yeah. So, Stephen A., you have him going to the Super Bowl, not as strong on it. Skip, you say not so much. <sighs> I, well, you know who I picked. Oh, yeah. Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm hanging in, some, but it's going to be a happen, long road. Some things yes. happen with that team. Yeah. All right, that's a whole other story, though. So there are now six undefeated teams left in the NFL. How would you list the Patriots, Falcons, Panthers, Bengals, and Packers from best to worst? Send us your rankings on Twitter using the hashtag RankTheUnbeatens. Meanwhile, Stephen A. had some strong words on Texas's Charlie Strong future on Mike and Mike and on his radio show. We'll discuss the next move for the Longhorns. That's after the break. This stuff is such a bad situation. I wasn't wanted down here to begin with. The guy who wanted me and brought me in is gone. And on top of it all, I'm getting out recruited by Houston, by Baylor. What's there to talk about? 